Welcome back to the second section of multiple criteria decision making analysis where we're adding weight to our multiple criteria decision making matrix. You want to ensure that you watch the first video. If you haven't, make sure you look in the description box for the link or in this playlist. So let's do a quick review. We had multiple criteria that spanned across five different options of automobile. Those options were price, miles per gallon, horsepower, room, type, and age. We specify which were beneficial and non-beneficial. Once we did that, we used simple formulas to normalize our data and get that on the same scale. Once we did that, we summed across each row, which equaled an option and got a performance score and ended up with the highest score for automobile four. So how do we add weight to each feature? Because some features are going to be more important than others. In our current model, each weight is the same because we have not indicated which feature is more important. So in that case, if we added a weight and multiplied each value by the weight, this wouldn't change the numbers, but would not change the result. So automobile four would still be the winner. Equal weights produce equal results. And what we're doing is using a weighted sum model. In that weighted sum, we can use simple additive weighting to rank our features. At the moment, we have not ranked our features, which gives us an equal value across each one of our features. This value is summed to one, hence the weighted sum model. We know that not all features are created equal. So we can use the weighted sum model because we know the sum of the weights equal one and each weight does not have to be different as we see from our results. In this model, we would like to put more importance on fuel efficiency. So that means miles per gallon would be the most important feature. We've ranked that out of the six features and again, you can have ties, but we have arbitrarily given this 0.4 as the highest. Then the second most important would be type two. Once we have these weights, we multiply our value in each one of the rows in the column by this weight that is attached to the feature. In this case, once we sum to get the final performance score across each row, we can see that the winner has changed from automobile four to automobile five. This is a very simple model to add weighting. There are many different models, but this is just a simple way to add weighting to your multiple criteria decision-making model.